everyone and welcome back to another Apples and Tiaras vlog. So today is going to be another classroom setup vlog. Um, I don't have like a total game plan for today other than just like opening boxes and starting to kind of organize things on tables into like groups. Um, but first I need to move some stuff around because they cleaned the carpets, but I don't actually think they did. So part of me is trying to get a hold of my principal to see if they did indeed do the carpets, but I don't think they did. Um, stuff was moved from over here, but nothing looks any different. Oh, <laughs> excuse you. Um, so I don't know if they did the carpets or not, but they were supposed to have. So I'm gonna go ahead and start moving things around in the event that they didn't and they are coming in to do that. Um, we'll have to just see what happens because at this point I need to start moving. So my goal today is to get all six tables moved into the place that they're probably going to be. And then I will begin unpacking all the boxes and organizing each table by like theme. So like I'll do a decor table, I'll do like a manipulatives table, I'll do like a like a supplies table. So I'm just going to kind of like go through the motions of organizing all my stuff and trying to get the layout dialed in today. I also have my mom and dad coming in in a few hours to finish painting. So as you can see, um, the tight lining on the ceiling needs to be finished and then the tight lining on the bottom needs to be finished and then just like around the boards and stuff. So I'm not gonna put anything like against the wall. I'm just gonna put it like where it's going to be and then just keep it like away from the wall so that um, <coughs> they can come back in and paint. <coughs> so with that being said, let's get moving. <laughs> So I'm gonna start ripping open boxes and I think what I'm gonna do is I'll make like one table like teacher supplies because I know a lot of that's teacher supplies and then I'll do like one of them organization, technology, decor, student supplies and then random. <laughs> so I'm gonna just start opening boxes and then start moving things around but I am going to make a little table map of where everything's gonna go. That way I keep myself organized. Okay, we have six tables. All right, so I've got my stuff map here on the wall. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start opening boxes and moving them to the table they belong to. If there isn't room on top of the table, I'll just move the items down on the ground until I can go through them. And cue the hyperlapse. Right, guys tiny update for you so I have begun organizing all of the things as you can see my decor table is a bit overflowing <laughs> um, there's a lot of stuff that like obviously goes up on the walls and like lamps and stuff 
And then, um, so yeah, everything is getting pulled out and I'm breaking the boxes down as I go so that I don't have to like do that later. Um, so I'm having trouble finding the hardware for my flexi spot desk and I'm getting a little bit worried because I'm wondering if it like ended up in a box that ended up in my storage unit. So I'm not super thrilled about that. Worst case scenario, perfect. Worst case scenario, I have these three Ikea tables that I can easily put um, on these expandable legs and I can use that as my teaching space. It just won't go up and down. Um, but if I can't find that hardware <laughs> um, in this room somewhere, there's a very good chance that it is in my storage unit, like mixed in with my home stuff which means I will not be able to use this table this year, which really sucks. Oh, hi. Hey. <laughs> so hopefully we'll find that. Um, I know the cord is there and I don't know about the bolts. Let's see. Yes, honey, like this is here. But the... All oh, right. But the power cord we can't find, so... I could still use it as like a small table, but I won't be able to plug it in. So we'll see if we can find that. If not, it is what it is. We'll figure it out. But um, I might actually be able to use like a PlayStation power cord. We'll see. Maybe I can order one. All right. Dad's here. You going to start painting? Yes. I tried to unload all the boxes. Yes. And empty them. So they did your floors? No. They didn't do your floors. <laughs> it doesn't look like it, does it? Well, I don't know. Well, that stain's still there, and that carpet spot's still there. <laughs> like, no, I don't think they did. All right. But it's fine. We'll deal with it. I'll start right over here, young. All right. Sounds good. All right. So we have some progress being made. Dad has moved on over here. He's tightlining the ceiling. Started there. We are going to have to do another coat, which is fine. Um, but this is where we're at organization wise. Um, so I kind of started moving myself in this direction over toward my corner. Um, for now, I'm just going to have it like this. I probably won't keep it this way. In fact, if my desk, if we can find a power cord, which my IT guy said he might have one, I'll end up putting these two white tables here and this black one will go somewhere else. And I'll just kind of create like a corner desk for myself, which is... Yeah, that can go on there, which is exactly what it's used for. So this one can't go on there or this one. The rest can, okay? Um, so yeah, that is what I was kind of starting to do was ponder my area kind of situation. Um, and I learned that this TV is like totally... And I learned that this TV is like totally touch screen and it's a computer all in its own. So I can just log into my Google account from the TV and I can do pretty much any and everything right from here. So that's pretty amazing. Right now I'm just listening to classic rock. So I don't even have to cast my computer to the TV. The TV in itself is a computer. I just pull up what I want up there and it's just up there. So that's pretty amazing. Oh wow, that's a cool drawing. Very cool. Um, so I did move it over to the middle where I was thinking I wanted it to be and I definitely wanna keep it here. Um, and I think I could actually plug it in up there. We'll see if it reaches. I don't know if I want that. I might end up putting like a picture over that plug. We'll see. Or putting my doorbell up there because then it's just like, you know, there. Um, but yeah, so we're making progress. It's, oh, mom's on her way. It's two o'clock. Um, and I'm just going to keep kind of going through things. I ended up moving some things down here. I ended up putting these plastic storage bins in this cabinet and then this is all of my like, ooh, there's a spider right there, right there. 
Um, I ended up putting all of my teacher supply bins in here, which I don't love, but they're put away. I could actually put them over here by my desk and stick them in these, like put two, maybe four of them in each square, maybe like along the bottom, because I actually use those bins a lot. So we'll see, I don't know, I'll have to change the labels that are on there, but um, that wouldn't be a big deal because I use them a lot. And then um, what goes in here are those cloth bins and those cloth bins are kind of like, well, they're empty right now. So I don't typically technically need them yet. Um, so I could save them for something else, like maybe use them back here. I can use them inside of this, which I don't know what to do about. I think I might end up taking the front middle panel off of that and painting it black or something okay thank you yep just right there is good um so yeah what's gonna come next is gonna be a like finalizing a layout the tables are sort of in the layout that i want them to be in yes okay is the spider over there okay well we'll get them um, is finalizing a layout and getting all of the furniture sorted out. I think what I might do is put my library over here, like I said I was going to do, in that corner. Either that or under this window, but I also want to have room for these Mom. tables. All right, friends, it is currently 441. I got a lot done, but I feel like I didn't get anything done. Um, Cash and my parents have since left. It was really hard to get a lot done with Cash being here. Like the first two hours, he was really awesome. He was like super distracted. He was playing with toys, watching on his tablet, like just very good. And then the last few hours he got like to the point where like he was just like distracting me um, with like anything and everything he could, which is, you know, this is five. <laughs> so um, with that being said, my mom and dad ended up leaving um, and taking cash with them so that I could stay for a couple extra hours and just get more done that I wanted to get done today. Um, so I'll just turn you around and kind of just show you the gist of what I've gotten done today. Um, and then I'm just going to keep working until about 6.30 and I'm planning on going home by 7. So I'm going to flip you around. It's actually really hot in here. I need to close this window over here. I don't know if this is why it's hot or if just the air conditioning is not on. But either way, I'm going to close this. Close up shop. Okay. So here's what I've gotten done today. I put lights around the TV. <laughs> um, we finished painting the whole room. We just have to do one more coat of the edges. Because as you can see, it's kind of like splotchy. But that's okay because we had to do two coats of paint. I got through almost every box. I believe the only boxes that are left in here are library books. These two, this one, that one is science stuff. I'm actually gonna move some of my holiday stuff that are in these boxes into these boxes and then they'll fit with my other holiday stuff. I got my desk area kind of figured out. I'm not 100% sure if it's going to stay this way. It probably will um, because now that I can use the TV as a computer, I don't really feel like I need to have like a teaching station, um, but rather just have like my table up front where I can like do demonstrations or like like set my drink or whatever and like you guys know what I mean um and so again the tables are not where they're gonna be like they're not and by any means organized 
as they're going to be organized. Um, so I'll probably have way more room up front. And then this bench is not going to stay here. Um, I think what I'm going to do with it is put it over here under this whiteboard and I can put pillows against it and that can be like a place for students to work um, and or a station location so like they can set up shop right there and do some station work or like centers or whatever um, or like during intervention they can sit there and read um, or do their like intervention work. So that will go there. And then I'm thinking my library, cause I don't really have a big classroom library because I'm not an ELA teacher. Thinking I'll put those two bookshelves right here. And then one of these tables in that corner as another station location with one of the rolly chairs and I can make that kind of like an isolation place. Like that could be my like Arctic circle is what I call it. It's like the place where you go to chill out or like Volcano Island. Um, so that could be kind of cool. And I do want to cover the edges of this either in chalk paint or I have contact paper because this one's kind of like jacked up. Um, but anyway, I thought that corner would kind of be a cool spot to like put one of these tables and then I can put, I have a tall lamp I can put in the corner corner and then that could be just like a cool space. Um, I also have these two other trapezoidy tables that I need to use. I don't know yet where I'm going to do, uh, use that. Um, there is a potential to put one over here. Either that or this. I think this is going to end up going here. And then I don't know about those other tables. I might need to like hustle and figure out what I'm going to do with them. Because I do have like the crew coming to remove anything that isn't needed. So it might be a good, I good idea to check some stuff out. In fact, what I should do right now is see which of these three tables fits best in this corner because I definitely want to utilize this corner for one of these. And then maybe chuck this one out because it's yucky anyway. And then I can use the other one as a small group space. Maybe even like over here, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see, it's all gonna unfold. And then I still have to figure out what's gonna go on with this situation, the table. I have a new principal. The principal who hired me is moving to a different school. They're moving her to a different school. Um, and then a new principal's coming in. Um, really nice person, very friendly. Um, but the old principal was the one telling me about that table and how it might be fixed. Um, if you aren't sure about what I'm talking about, watch one of the previous classroom videos from this school year to see what I'm talking about. Um, so yeah, so I kind of want to get like my desk space kind of organized because then like that's done. I also really like how I'm not like protruding out into the space. Like, yes, it's a, Jesus. Oh, lovely. I'm going to have to hot glue that. I like how it's just a corner. Um, and cause I won't be sitting here when kids are in here. Like, at best, I'll have this computer on this table, and I'll be, like, standing, because I don't really sit when kids are here. Um, but when I'm working, like, when I'm prepping and planning and grading, I can utilize this whole desktop for that. I want to do a little board, like a bulletin board here, where I can put, like, my things, like pictures... Um, you know, stuff like that. I might even put my good vibes sign like up here on this wall, maybe. Because I feel like you'd be able to see it from everywhere. Or maybe I could plug it into that outlet and like hang it up here. I don't know. We'll see. Um, it does have to be plugged in. My monitor is like not working. It's like, it's like flashing. So anyway, um, I got my desk put back together. That was fun. I like broke a sweat over that. And yeah, this is kind of 
the overall right now. Oh, I did figure out that I'm going to put all of this kind of stuff over here. So I have all my sheet protectors. I'm gonna have trans, uh, like transparency paper, sticker paper, and like uh, laminating pages in bas baskets like these. And then I can stack up my little like curriculum books in here because I do have some like teacher curriculum that I have to keep um, this stuff. I'll probably just keep it in there if I can. And then binders have to go in this filing cabinet. Typically I would get rid of the filing cabinet, but because there's a light on here. Oh, there's my doorbell. Ta-da! Oh goodness. <laughs> well, there it is, found it. So yeah, I hung that up there. Um, the binders will have to go in here and they just kind of like, I'll stand them up. I have more. And then this will be where I can keep extra folders. And then if I print anything or need to file anything, I'll file it on top. And then I'm thinking the bottom shelf is going to be for, like, Cash's stuff. So, like, snacks, um, maybe, like, his toys, like, things that he can just get into. We'll see. Does this look centered on this window? I kind of want to make sure it's centered. I don't want to have, like, any, like... I don't want it to feel like it's like every inch of wall space is being taken up by something. Like, I like how there's a little bit of a gap. I might even put my pretty like lamp or not lamp, plant stand right here um, and put some plants on it because I really like how I have windows that bring a lot of light in. Like I'm getting a ton of light in the windows right now. So I want to bring some plants in to brighten up the room. I might put a couple like up like some pothos up on the cabinets just to like liven the place up. They do pretty good with like window light. So um, yeah, it's coming together. This is like day one of like actually setting things up. And this is just kind of like unpack day is really what it is. So a lot to be done still. I'm going to be coming in tomorrow after I go to the gym. I need to keep these with my other stuff. Um, so yeah, I'll be coming in tomorrow after the gym and I'll be here like all day. So I'm planning on getting, what I'd like to do is get things like, it's hard cause I can't like set up the countertop yet because my mom has finished painting, but I would like to get like things set, like the layout completely dialed in that way I can start decorating. And then I don't know what to do with this back wall. Can you guys help me out? I'm going to post this video like as soon as possible. I have a couple options. I hate the color of the wall, but I feel like I just don't want to do the work to cover it. Honestly, like I really don't want to. It's kind of dirty. Like there's some dirty spots, but realistically the dirtiest part is here at the bottom. And I'm going to have another one of these bookshelves that like covers that. So I feel like if I could just cover like some of these little scrapes and stuff with this bulletin board paper, I'd be in good shape. Um, so tell me what you guys think about that. Should I just leave the wall, um, not cover it, and just put um, paper up there and just leave it the color it is? Should I cover it with like butcher paper? Like there's teal, green, and pink in there and black. I just don't want it to be like an eyesore. Like I don't want it to be obnoxious. You know what I mean? So anyway, let me know what you guys think. I'm going to do walls probably last um, because they're not really a priority to me. Typically, it's like organization and like putting stuff away. That's really important to me at the beginning. I also have to stop by my storage unit and pick up a bunch more stuff today. So anyway, let me know what you guys think. I'm going to get back to work. I think I'm going to try to like finish my desk area, like organize that stuff, see if I can get my computer to work. And just kind of fart around until tomorrow. And that's when the real fun will begin. All right, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to follow me on all of my social medias, TikTok, Instagram, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.